welcome in, welcome all, welcome to the 2022 Southwest Legacy Senior Walk. We are your hosts. I'm Brandon Medina with my favorite person in the world. I'm Cameron Eastside. Welcome to the 2022 Senior Walk. Thank you guys for joining us. We have a lot to get into. We're going to have six elementary schools and two middle schools. And of course, the 2022 Senior Class of Legacy High School. We are ready to get rolling here in just a few minutes. Be ready, be prepared, because it's going to be an absolute blast of a show again you have medio creek bob hope elementary spicewood elementary hidden cove elementary indian creek sky harbor and then you have mcculloch and resnick and our 2022 graduating class from legacy high school the parade looks to just be getting started right now so first up and foremost we're going to have the legacy band coming up followed by bob hope elementary right now we're going to have our beautiful cars donated from 2022's new line over at North Park Toyota. Don't forget, at the end of the night, somebody is winning a free car here at the Senior Walk. We are very, very excited to see what we're gonna, what car and who's gonna be winning tonight. We saw last week, Cass Stem High School won at Southwest High School Senior Walk. Currently, we, Absolutely, we have the SWPD just passing by. And then we have our beautiful trucks and Tundras from North Park Toyota. We thank them for their service to the community and thank them for, of course, donating a car to be given to one lucky senior later on today. We got the legacy band over here, the drum line, and they are going to be followed by our Southwest Legacy, our board members. Yeah, I believe senior staff as well. Our board members, of course, and senior staff, incredible job they do for the community, incredible job they do for Southwest ISD as a whole. We have Dr. Verstuff in there as well, superintendent of SWISD. For those curious, we do have over 13,000 students. We were able to celebrate some of them last week at Southwest High School. Today we're at Legacy for the Senior Walk. Here is, again, the band from Legacy, the drum line. And here is our senior staff and board members waving hello. Dr. Verstuff as well. And we have Bob Hope coming up right behind them. Bob Hope is led by Miss Passmore, who began her journey this year. In spirit of partnership and community, Bob Hope families and staff authored the school's renewed vision and mission statements, identifying the school's core values as communication, integrity, empathy, and commitment. First grader Kayla Lira also received the third place honor in the University Health System's How I Stay Safe Citywide competition. Lots of great stuff over here at Bob Hope. And here comes Medio Creek. The Gators are led by Miss Amy Garza and Mr. Mark Sonnen. Medio Creek was named the National Blue Ribbon Beacon School Award for 2021 and 2022. Mr. Roland Cornejo, Medio Creek Social Worker, was named the State of Texas Social Worker of the Year. And Medio Creek became the first campus in SWISD to have a therapy dog named Radar. Mr. Alvarez, fourth grade bilingual teacher, was the Texas A&M San Antonio Aspire Teacher of the Month for April as well. Looks like here comes Sky Harbor. Mm -hmm. 
We also have Spicewood. The Spicewood Park Panthers are led by Miss Tanya Velasquez. And just today, they had a community partners and Spicewood families came together to host a career day to speak to the students about their future choices. The Spicewood fifth graders are looking forward to finishing the school year strong and taking a tour of Resnick Middle School just coming up this next week. Nice. We have Resnick Middle School, our newest middle school year. Right in front of Legacy, they are led by Principal Gaspar De Leon. The Resnick Advanced Mariachi recently performed at the Arneson River Theater during the Mariachi Festival. They were the only middle school performing that day. They also recently had many of their young artists showcase some of their art pieces at the Legacy Art Gala. Resnick also had six students chosen to have three poems published in the 2022 Young American Poetry Digest. Now, it's time for the big one. We have Southwest Legacy's 2022 class for the Senior Walk. Yes, and listen to the band. The athletics was nothing less than great. The 2022 boys basketball made their playoffs for the first time. You have the 2021 cross-country boys district champions and girls runner-up. And we have the 2021 football team that was undefeated in district play, won the district championship, and were area finalists. And, of course, they took home that fire and armor bow trophy. In football, they had three SA All-Star game players. Legacy softball also were by district champs and made it into the second round of the state playoffs. Boys and girls soccer were also by district champs and made their first playoff appearance as well. We are extremely proud of the Legacy seniors, the 2020 Two class uh, for the senior walk. It has been nothing, nothing less but an awesome year of excellence for our graduating class here at Legacy. Yeah. So thank you so much for participating in the parade. We will now be moving to the stage to see which Park you are in. Which Park you are in? Absolutely. North Park Toyota is sponsoring. We will be just right back. And while we're gone, we're going to go ahead and share one of our great student folks programs. I decided to take construction because my dad, he's like in the air conditioning field. This is something I, I just wanted to go with, just to see like if I wanted to continue what he was doing. Oh, well, the program, it's helped me a lot like with like communication skills and everything because you got to work like in teams. Uh, well, we've worked on our OSHA certification and NCWER. Well, like, it's fun, entertaining, like you gotta do things hands-on and everything, build. Well, like recently we worked on a, a mini library for Spicewood Elementary. It, it'll help the community that way, like they don't have to like go inside the school to go check out a book. It's pretty cool to see like bring, bringing the community together. My name is Cesar de la Garza. I'm in a construction program at Southwest. We are Southwest.
program has taught me a lot of things such as hands-on work and working to make myself ready for the for the outside world such as going into the business with my abilities to show off what I could do in the IT pathway, I was picked and selected for the Holt CAT internship. And we went through many rotations, such as parts, finance, and business, and also IT. After graduation, hopefully, I want to go to college to major in computer science and hopefully stay at Holt CAT, where I will have a position there and progress my knowledge. I think it's, it's a great program to get into. It teaches you a lot of things. It prepares you for the workforce. It's um, something, when you go to high school, it's something that you learn and you're gonna take with you forever. It is pretty unique. I haven't been to a lot of different high schools, but I think it's, it's beneficial to the students because you're getting the hands-on work and the knowledge in the high school. Um, it's helped me a lot to get to where I am. I didn't even think I would be in this profession and I'm glad that this kind of guided me. My name is Jacqueline. I am in the cybersecurity program. We are Southwest. The barber program is is really cool because like I get to cut hair and like make a difference on people, you know, and uh, get like boost people's confidence up. It's a big opportunity for me because uh, I could have still been playing basketball, but I chose to come cut hair. As soon as I graduate, I get my license, so. Uh, after I graduate, go straight into a shop and continue cutting hair. It's, it's very beneficial because it gets my name out there and uh, it's uh, kind of like a reputation. So I cut some people and then they keep coming back and it brings more clientele. So it's nervous your first, your first cut, but then you start getting the hang of it and it becomes a lot, a lot better, a lot easier. The people around here, the environment, it's very good. It's a big confidence boost. Uh, my teacher is amazing, she teaches us everything, and I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have her. So. It's just an amazing program, you know, not a lot of schools have it in, around here, so for, for me to be able to do it, it's a blessing. My name is Jason, I'm in the Southwest High School Barber Program, and we are Southwest. So the ag program, specifically the uh, vet classes that I've been taking since freshman year, uh, it's been really helpful for me in my future pathway, um, really just because I plan to become a veterinarian after college. So it's really good to get an early start of things that I'll be needing to know. So the program, since it is more hands-on, I definitely like it because I am more of a hands-on learner. So it's really good to just get up out of my chair because I sit in most of my classes. So it's good to get up and move around. And since a lot of schools don't have something like this, is that uh, we're really gifted and happy to have a program like this so that we were able to learn more, like other students might not have that experience. Yeah, so Mr. Trevino, he's really a great teacher, honestly. I think one of the best here at Southwest. <laughs> but um, he's been helpful since ever since freshman year and especially our senior year. He doesn't just teach us about any uh, ag stuff, he teaches us about preparing for college and things that we'll need to know. I think Southwest, they really just 
have a drive to help students as much as they can and this program I think definitely shows that. <laughs> My name is Georgia Katika. I'm a senior here at Southwest in the VET program. We are Southwest. I've been doing cosmetology in a legacy for three years. This is going to be my third year. I think cosmetology is a great opportunity for us because we get to graduate with our license. You get to learn so many things and you get to form really strong bonds, not just like with the students that you're with, but with your teacher too. I plan on graduating with my license, my cosmetology license, and I plan on getting out and um, going independent and getting my own shop. This program is very beneficial for you because you save a lot. from North Park Toyota. One of our lucky seniors is going to take home the car tonight. We do have 12 finalists. We have 11 seniors from Santa Fe Hills and one from Castem High School. Absolutely. Now, last week we did see Castem take home and turn that key. So with that, we're going to see today, do they have the same luck or is it a legacy senior? Be ready, everybody. It's time for the exciting part of the senior walk. It's time to give away a car. It looks like we have a not right, bigger of a class as well. Let's get the show started. One more time before we get going. Let's give it up for the class. Here we go, Seagulls! So we want to thank the community for being out here tonight. We know it's been a few years since we've been able to do this the way we normally do it. So we're really excited to have you out tonight. We hope you enjoyed the festival part, all of the entertainment that we had. But we know that tonight is about our class of 2022. Our seniors, they have been something through very different than what we've had in years past. So with the pandemic, they've been able to achieve a lot more than some of our other classes, despite some of the obstacles they had to hurdle. So tonight is all about the class of 2022. But I would be remiss if we didn't thank one of our partners who's with us here tonight. So this is the 12th year that we have worked with North Park Toyota San Antonio. Over those 12 years, tonight included, they've given 20 vehicles to Southwest ISD to give to the students and staff. So hopefully we'll give a big round of applause to North Park Toyota of San Antonio. All right, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to bring up our superintendent of schools, Dr. Lloyd Bursta. He's going to introduce a couple of special guests here with us tonight. All my parents, guardians, all the brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, everyone for coming out and celebrating the pending graduating class of 2022. A phenomenal class. We learned a lot from these students here as they've been through a really rough time the last couple of years. They taught us how to turn on the thing as they work their way to graduation. So please join me one more time and giving them a big round of applause to the high school graduating class of 2022. This is a tradition that we do every year to have this informal opportunity to celebrate our students before we go to a formal opportunity in Alamo Dome. We have a school board that works really, really hard to make sure our students have what they need. I'd like to take a moment out to recognize them, starting with our board president, Mr. Sylvester Vasquez. Thank you, sir, for always being here. Thank you for everything you do. 
We have our Vice President of our board, Ms. Ida Sadokin, our Secretary, Ms. Clover Now, her assistant, our Assistant Secretary, Mr. James Sullivan. We also have board member, Mr. Pete Bernal, and we have board member, Mr. Daniel Carrillo. So we thank them for everything they do to make sure that our students keep coming to first class facilities and have opportunities to do great things in their lives. Also have a senior staff here. I'd like to introduce them, starting with our Assistant Superintendent Administration Human Resource, Ms. Frances Parsonis, our Assistant Superintendent of Business, Mr. Brandon Chris. We have our public relations officer, Ms. Jenny Collier. And we have our assistant superintendent of curriculum instruction, Ms. Dalila Garcia. They do an incredible job and really appreciate everything they do. I want to, I want to echo what Jesse, Jesse Garcia, Garcia said about our relationship, our relationship with, with North Park Toyota. Toyota. They are, they are probably, probably the most phenomenal partner that we've ever had. had. They have provided to us over the years more than 20 vehicles that one, one of our students has an opportunity to win one of them, one of them here tonight, tonight uh, which, is uh, which is a really great culminating activity, activity tonight. tonight. And so, and so thank, thank you, North Park, North Park Toyota. Toyota. You're the best partners we could ever hope for. We appreciate everything you do and the way you open your doors to us. I'd also like to ask Mr. Sylvester Vasquez, if he'll come up and on behalf of our school board share a few words before I introduce our principal. Thank you, Lord. On behalf, on behalf of the school board, we want to say thank you. A la familia. Muchísimas gracias. Ustedes son los que le dan el apoyo a nuestros niños. You're the ones that support our kids from morning to night, Monday to Sunday, and then some. Cada semana, cada día, nos apoyan a nuestros niños. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you, guys. And let's have a great night. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vasquez. I'd like to say that here at Southwest Legacy, home of the Titans, we have an incredible principal. I'd like to ask him to come up and share a few words. Please help me in welcoming our principal, Mr. Paul Black. Legacy High School custodial staff as well. I don't know if they're out here, but a big thank you to the custodial staff from Southwest Legacy. 
I know my, I know my department, department has been running this event for about the last seven years. years. Dr. Public, Public Relations, Communication, Media, Media, Media and Community Partnership Department. Let's get that, get that group around. Don't be home at 10 o'clock tonight. All right, so we're going to have one lucky senior who's going to go home with a vehicle tonight. But I do want the rest of the seniors to know, just because one student goes home with a vehicle, all of our seniors have accomplished a lot this year. So one will get a vehicle, but a lot of your seniors have earned state certification, they've earned group credit in their classes, those that get their associate's degree, so they've done a lot this year. So we'll have one winner that goes home with a vehicle. to get started here soon with giving away a car. We're gonna explain the process, explain who's involved. Again, we have 12 lucky seniors here that are going to be giving a car away too. So with that, we have a brand new Corolla, a 2022, be ready. We have 12 seniors. What are you thinking? We, we took pics yes, last week. We made a friendly bet for some tacos. None of us won. It was pick number eight last week out of the 12. Do you think we're going to see it a little bit sooner or a little bit later? Number three. I'm going to go with number five. Numero cinco is my pick to go ahead and win. Now, when they are called up, they get to pick the bag. The order is only how they're called up. There's 12 bags. The key is in there somewhere, random. So. They're only choosing, chosen in the order, but they get to pick whatever bag they like. Again, last week, we had number eight win that. You're going to hear the sound whenever they turn the car keys on. So you're going to hear a loud, obviously, crowd audience that's really hyped up because one lucky senior will be leaving today with a new car. Almost life-changing, I would say. I mean, especially going into college. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to help with gas as of right now, but a new car is still a new car, so we're really excited. And, of course, I know the Education Foundation also adds. Students, if I call your name, please come stand right here and watch you in the same order that we call you. Adriana Perez. Awesome. So right now, the first one is going to be Adriana Perez. Let's take a look in and see if Adriana Perez, number one, if this is the lucky one. She is from Castem. We do have Sarai Viapando's number two. That's going to be number two. So we have Castem leading it off, followed by Legacy Sarai Viapando. And then at the third spot, we have Raul Medina Ramirez as well. So those are your top three right there. You pick number three. So Raul for Green Cheese Taco. So that number three is all Sam right there. All right, Raul Medina Ramirez. Now, after Raul, Raul at number four, at number four, we do have Isaiah Schnorr. Isaiah Schnorr. We're going to see how that's pronounced. Isaiah Schooner. Isaiah Schooner. Okay. We were close. We were close. Sorry about that, Isaiah, but we're cheering for you. That's number four. Southwest Legacy, number five. My pick 
for some bean and cheese tacos is Adriana Oviedo. Adriana Oviedo is number Adriana five. Adriana Oviedo. Adriana Oviedo. Come on down, Adriana. And in the number six spot from Legacy, we do have Angelina Garza. So she's going to be caught up here Angelina shortly. Angelina Garza. Angelina Garza from Southwest Legacy. Come so, on down. So we did have the car giveaway. We had the car giveaway, and actually, luckily enough, I didn't get to turn my key, but the person in front of me won it, which was my roommate in college. So we got to run that one to the ground and definitely enjoyed our time there, and that was I all through North Park Toyota as well. So, Ford. like you said, oh, it, it is Ford. pretty life-changing. Yeah, pretty life-changing. So, I mean, we don't get the gas money, but I did go to Lubbock, Angelina Texas, Garza. so gas Angelina wasn't Garza. quite as expensive, but we definitely uh, used up all the miles. So, Amber, Amber Jimenez, Jimenez is at number seven. Lucky number seven. And then at number eight, we saw number eight when last week. Sebastian Martinez from Castam, no, please come on Number down. eight Sebastian. from Castam won last week. Could number eight from Castam win today? And that would be Sebastian Martinez at number eight from Castam. The exact D'Angelo spot Del and Valle. the exact school D'Angelo that Del won Valle. last week. D'Angelo Del Valle is D'Angelo in the ninth spot. Valle. And let me tell you, I came to the athletic banquet. I remember D'Angelo's name. He Brandon won everything. Cortez. D'Angelo Del Valle, Cortez. huge into community service, won every warrior point possible. I believe out of 65 possible community service points, he had 62. So a great student in the community as well. Gage that could be it for number nine. Gage now, Killer. number 10 is Brandon Cortez. And number 11 will be Gage Tiller, followed by the last contestant. Number 12, could it go all the way? Last number 12. Your lucky number's 12. That's, a, that, 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 that's low down the list, but we might see it. Josette Theyes is number 12. So those are your 12 contestants. We shall see who's winning the car today. Now, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here, here we go. So we have, we do, we have them all lined up. 12 finalists. Again, number one is Castam. Number all eight right, is Castam. So we're going to start with Adriana at number one. We we we've seen it before. Those if you're in the first five, that's your best chance. It seems like in the past, if history was to repeat itself. But we went really really long last week, and in the past, I know out of 30 almost before we went into the 20s. So I do think this could be something where we could possibly get to number 12. However. Everybody looks very, very confident, but there's a lot of nerves you can tell in this line. All right, let's get this started. Adriana Perez, come on up and pick your fortune. Let's go, Adriana. Here we go. We're starting it right now. Adriana Perez, number one from Castam. It's a silver. So here it comes. Adriana is going to go ahead and try out her key in the new Corolla from North Park right, Toyota. First key, Perez. First key, let's see if this is the one. It could be early over, over early. Sorry, I'm so excited. And I don't think this is gonna right. be it. That's one down. Cast stem again, one last week. However, they do not have another chance until number eight. We're going to see a few legacy people going through. Sarai Diapando seems to be a, a popular kid. Yes. Here we go. She knew exactly which one she wanted. She knew it. A blue bag. Could this be the key? Could this be it for Sarai? Let's see. Could this be it? Number two. No, no it is not. I did like she pressed the brakes and you saw the lights come on a little bit. And a little bit, a, little, a couple of people got really excited. That is two down. Here is Sam's pick. This is for bean and cheese tacos for Samantha Ruiz, my co host. This is Raul Medina Ramirez. Picking the blue. Confidence. Oh, confidence. Come on over, have a seat. Put your foot on the brake. Raul knows this is it. Number three, could this key be the one? Lucky number three. Never, actually. I think I was always meant to talk, and so now here we are. But let's see. Raul, number three. And it doesn't. 
<laughs> Doesn't look like that's gonna be the one, but we did have a few, a few people get excited in the hopes. Not number three. Thank you, Raul, for coming by, though. We appreciate it. Obviously, all these 12 seniors had to do so much in school and in the community to possibly win. Wow, Isaiah is a very popular kid, it seems. And look at the confidence in Isaiah. Got the North Park Toyota hat on to match the red shoes. Could this be it? Isaiah with number four. Could Isaiah be the one that turns the key? A new Corolla. Could it be? Uh-oh. Looks like there's some trouble. I don't think Isaiah has it. Great job, though, Isaiah. Clearly a big fan of the 2022 senior class. Yeah, big fan favorite. Here was my pick, number five, Adriana Oviedo. She knew which one she was going for, that silver one. Let's see. Could this be the one? Number five, Adriana Oviedo. Come on, Adriana, give me some, uh, give me some bean and cheese tacos. Number five, could this be the key to win a North Park Toyota Corolla? And it looks like it's not gonna be the one. And we keep going. Here comes number six, Angelina Garza. Oh, there's a lot of confidence here at Legacy High School today. No sweat. She has the Nikes on. She's ready to roll. Here comes the key. She picked a silver bag. This is number six, Angelina Garza. Could this be the one? A new Corolla. Angelina! You just want a new car? Angelina Garza! Your 2022 North Park Toyota winner for a new car from Legacy, Angelina Garza! What a moment. Oh, the tears are flowing. They're jumping. What a moment. Listen, not a, not a bad way to graduate, if you tell me. Listen, Angelina Garza is going home with a new Corolla from North Park Toyota. Thank you for being with us at the 2022 Senior Walk for Legacy High School. That's going to be it for us. Until next time, congratulations, Angelina, and congratulations to the class of 2022.